very useful. There's um, quite a few, but please leave my originals if you make a copy. And then if you run out of absolutely nothing, to, you have nothing to do, then there are some filler activities, and I've made copies of most. Some of them you'll have to write on the board. Others you'll have to make copies yourself if you need these. Feel free to improvise the lesson plans any way you need to in order to make your day successful. Uh, don't feel bound by the lesson plans at all. If you need to de deviate from them, go right ahead. All right, let's look at the plans now and see specifically what my objectives are for today. I'll put this back under here. It'll be ready for you to read right underneath the plan book. And the day starts at 8.40. If you look at the plan under Friday, we have 8.40. We have the opening. The opening is our opening uh, with the flag salute. You can do a flag salute if you'd like. And we do uh, lunch count. The kids put their cards up. It's, it's explained in the substitute folder. The kids put their cards up. You mark, you mark it down. You can see it over in the corner. That you mark down how many kids are absent, what's, who's, how many hot lunches you have, and how many milks, and you send it with the messenger. And uh, kids will help you with that. Let's move on now. After the opening, you should take about 10 minutes to do that. As soon as you finish with your opening on Friday, you can go on down to the computer room, have a TR student show you where that is, and <clears throat> there's a key in the desk to the computer room that will get you into the cabinet. There's several disk packets in the cabinet, and you can ask Mr. Cooper for some help before school starts, and he'll show you exactly where the disks are that you'll need. I'm going to let you have an open lab today, and not any instruction in case you aren't familiar with computers. The kids are very familiar with them, so you can just pass out the disks and let them have have at it. It'll be a free time. Pass out Oregon Trail. Let's try Oregon Trail. And if any other students would like to request a certain disk, you can go ahead and pass those out too. But be sure that you put everything back where you found it. Okay, let's move on. After computers is over with at 9.50, we'll have a recess, which is start about 10 till 10, and it lasts till 10 o'clock. And you need to be, uh, you can just straighten up the room and get ready for the next assignment during that time. Uh, when that bell rings, you go down and pick up the students and bring them back to the classroom. The TR students will come back by themselves. 10 o'clock, we have our spelling test right when they get back from recess. And the spelling test is going to be in this book here. And I've got a marker in here for you. It's unit 12. We do all 30 words. I have a few students that aren't taking the test. And you can find their names on the chart on the back wall right behind my desk. Now, if you'd like to look at that, maybe I can swing around here and take a look at it for you right now. Look at the chart. It's right behind my desk here. The, the students with the stars under uh, unit, it actually says unit 11, but that should be unit 12. All the students with stars um, in this unit are the ones that don't have to take the test. So Sarah and Sarah, Ryan, Jeannie, and Val. And you, you can check this test in the morning and see if there's more stars up here. There could possibly be more. But that, that'll tell you exactly who needs to take the test and who doesn't. Let's go back to the plan book. As soon as you finish the spelling test, then we can begin the art project. Now, the art project is a three-dimensional art project, and they'll, I'll have it run off for you so it'll be all ready to pass out. There'll be an uh, angel, a snowman, and a Santa sleigh. And the directions will be on one page, and they can just ignore the witch, which will be on there. You can just tell them, ignore the witch. That was for... Um, Halloween, and we'll just do this, the angel, the snowman, and the sleigh. If they follow the directions, you can go over it with them and do one together if you'd like, however you'd like to do it. They should be able to, to make this into a, a three-dimensional art project. There's three of them here. That should keep them busy for about an hour. Students that finish early, um, you can have them silently reading or working on other late assignments, um, various activities you could possibly send some students live this time. Okay, let's move on. From after the art project is finished, uh, you're ready for... Let's hold on a second. I have a message. That interruption. Let's go back to the book now. We, uh, when the art project is finished, the three-dimensional art project, then you, can, you go to lunch, which will be at 1140. At 1140, you go to lunch. Lunch, you go down with the students. The TR kids will go by themselves at lunchtime, 1140. Um, to, we are there till 1201, and you stay with the students and supervise them during that time. 1201, you come back to the room, and we're reading a story called The Stone Fox. The marker will be in there where you left off, and um, you just read out loud to the students during story time for Stone Fox. They'll, they're allowed to color or, or do anything they'd like to in their desks except for talk or get out of their seat during that time. All right, that's the story time. After story time, they go out to recess, which is at 1220. Recess lasts from 1220 to 1250. Okay. 
you that's your lunch time. That's when you go to the uh, lounge or the teacher's lounge, or you can go to the restaurant or where you need to go for lunch. After your lunch time at 12:50, you go down and pick up the students, bring them back to class, and from 12:50 to about one o'clock or one. 10 or somewhere in there, whenever you feel it's time, you have a silent reading period where you you can read or you can correct the spelling test during that time is usually what I do. And uh, while the rest of the students just um, are reading silently at their desk, they all should have books at their desks already. After the silent reading time, when you feel that's uh, good enough, around 1 o'clock or 1.15, we start our science. Now we're getting ready for a test. You can tell the students we'll have a test next Tuesday and the test will cover chapters four and five. So what I'm gonna have you do is just kind of review chapters four and five and concentrate on pages 65 through 68. And if you'd like to feel it out, you have the questions on page 68 on paper if you really think it's necessary. If not, you can answer them orally in class. It's up to you. All right, if you do answer, have them write them down, uh, I'd like for you to go ahead and correct those too. Thank you. Now, after that's finished at 1.30, you go you take the students to the library, and Mrs. Berry has the students for a half hour, and that's a planning time for me. I'd like for you to get the room nice and clean and um, correct all papers and all work and make sure that the desk is nice and neat during that time. After that, at 2 o'clock is study hall, and you can talk to Mrs. Else in room 10 about study hall and the procedures that we use for study hall. All students that aren't finished with their work on Friday go to Mrs. Else's room. Now, if you have any students that are behavior problems, Go ahead and send them to Mrs. Elsa's room and just have them uh, put their head down during that time. Um, actually, the study hall will be in this room, and you will send your good kids, the ones that are finished with their work, to Mrs. Elsa's room. So that you'll have just a few kids in here, probably eight, that'll be working on late work or behavior problems that just need to have their heads down on their desk. So that's the day. The, the bell will ring at 1240. That's when you kind of clean things up in the class and you review the day. And at 2.45, the kids are dismissed to go home. All right. Now, let's talk about some other things other than the lesson plan. And for that, why don't you come back around to the front of the desk? I think you'll find everything you need right on the desk here. I'll leave it stacked. I'll leave my textbook stacked, my teacher's edition stacked right here. My substitute folder will be right underneath my lesson plan book. And the plan book will be opened up. You'll just need to look down at Friday and follow the assignment along, just follow it along the timeline. Now, some things I'd like for you to do for, um, to help you throughout the day is I'd like for you to choose one student who's not a TR kid, and that could be any student in the classroom that's not a TR kid, and we'll make that person a TR kid because they've had a good day with you, and that'll give the kids something to work for. Um, you can use that to your advantage. Another thing that you can do... Mrs. Hubbard, you have a phone call? Another thing that you can do is we have class supergrams, and you can you'll feel free to give these out, or you can also give away any of the stickers or awards that I have in my filing cabinet under awards and stickers. If you see any kids that you think you want to give them a sticker or an award, you can go ahead and give any of these away that you'd like. Um, that's kind of your positive, it goes along with the positive reinforcement plan that's in the um, substitute folder that I have. Um, other than that, I think everything should go pretty smoothly. If you need any help, um, Mr. Cooper can help you with the computer room. Mrs. Elf Elf will help you with the study hall. And you should probably talk to those two before the day starts. That's about it. Uh, now I'd like for you to just stop the tape here and get it set up at the front of the room so that the students can watch it when they enter. Play this at the beginning of the day and um, this will give the students some idea of what my expectations are at the day. All right, have a good day. Thank you very much for coming. Hi kids. I'm not going to be here today. You're going to have a substitute teacher and I don't know who it is yet, but you'll, I'm sure you'll like her or him, whoever it is. And uh, I just want to remind you that the substitute is going to be looking for one person to be a TR kid that's not one already. So if you wanted to be a TR kid and I have overlooked you and you think you've deserved that, today's your day to prove that to the substitute teacher. She'll leave one name and she'll announce it at the end of the day who it is she's going to present the TR button to. And in fact, I'll probably leave her a TR button for her to present. So if you'd like to do that, you have to really work hard. Now, if we have a good day today, I'll give you 20 points toward the popcorn party also. And that's if I get a good report. Anything bad that's said about anybody, I'll deal with them individually when I get back. I don't think it'll be a problem. R Ryan Kennedy, can you sit down for a second and quit talking? Thanks, Ryan. All right. So don't forget, work hard for this substitute. She's a teacher just like myself, and she'll do a good job. She'll help her out. 
TR kids, I want you to really work hard today and help the substitute out as much as possible, showing her where things are and helping her throughout the building. All right. Have a good day today. I'll see you on Monday.